My name is Jim DeMille. Uh, I teach a system called Wing Chun Do, which is rooted in my time with Bruce Lee uh, back in the er early 60s. Um, I'm kind of semi-retired now. I, I, I still teach, but it's more academic. Uh, I don't teach as physical because of an operation that I had recently. Uh, Wing Chun Do is just basically the concepts and principles that Bruce originally developed for his own fighting system or his own fighting style. And so I, I just teach that, that people are interested in that specific period of time. Well, I first got interested when I met Bruce Lee. I mean, uh, talking about martial arts is kung fu or karate, this type of thing. But I actually got into boxing uh, a number of years earlier when I was in the military. And uh, I boxed for two years uh, in, uh, in Alaska in the heavyweight. And then after I got out of the service, I uh, went back to school and in school met Bruce Lee. And that's where I started my martial arts training. I met Bruce Lee in the latter part of 1959. I started boxing in 1956, 57 right there. But 59, latter 59, I met Bruce right when he came from San Francisco. Just moved up and started school. Well, I was going to the school called Edison Technical School, and I had an open class where I wasn't doing anything for an hour. And I was going down the hallway and, and next to the auditorium, and I saw this sign saying Asian Day whatever. So different Asian groups within the city were doing different demonstrations and talking about their culture. And so I went in and just to kill time, sat in the back of the auditorium, and there were a few people up front. And I saw this kid up on the stage in this uniform, leaping around like a frog, slapping his feet and spinning, and really looked pretty, and making little funny noises. So after he was done, he started talking about this thing he called Kung Fu. And he was talking about it was a fighting art, and it was a deadly art, and blah, blah, blah. And he went on about the praying mantis and talking about different styles. And, and anyway, the bottom line was, is I was underwhelmed by this butterfly bug flopping around the stage or jumping around the stage was going to be effective against what I knew was street fighting. So he came down from the stage and was talking in this group. And I went up and started talking to him. Oh, I didn't, you know, I mean, I was just involving myself in the group. And I volunteered the thought that, well, kid, you, you're going to learn very quickly that fighting over here is real serious. We don't play this bug and butterfly game. Well, this, of course, drew his attention. And he said, oh, uh, you know, he, he looked at me, and I was 225 pounds, and physically, I mean, you looked at me, and you could see I could fight. So he said, well, why don't take a punch at me. Well, I was in my early 20s. There was a, some girls around, and so obviously my ego came into play. So I was going to show this kid, you know, hey, you know, it's, there's a reality here you got to learn. So I took a jab at him. Bad mistake. Bruce does, does what you call, or did what you call trapping, where he attacks your hands. He doesn't punch your head or whatever. He attacks your hands so he can control anything you do. Well, I had never seen this before. It never occurred to me somebody was going to attack my hands. So I fired at him, and he engaged my hand. But not only engaged my hand, but he began to manipulate it in such a way as that as I tried to move, I was trapped. I couldn't move. And then he went up, and he went, and he tapped me on the forehead, and he said, is anybody home? Well, needless to say, I was exceptionally embarrassed. But it really, the biggest thing was the, I mean, I was humbled. Because without a doubt, I was going to show this kid how good I was, how fast I was, and impress everybody. And this was my introduction to Bruce Lee. I didn't know who he was. I'd never heard of him. Never heard of Gong Fu. But I was exceptionally impressed with a guy who weighed 135 pounds, 5 foot 7, against me at 225 pounds, a mean machine, and he just treated me like I was an elementary school kid. So I guess the bottom line is I had to either kill myself, have an embarrassment, 
or join and did do whatever he did. And so I decided to join and start training. And that's how I started training with Bruce Lee. He was going to the same school. We were both going to Edison.